Tonight we're looking at palmistry and phrenology. And let's meet our expert, Miss Emily Grimley. Oh, hello! Oh, thank you so much. You're wonderful, you? Hello! Oh, you Miss Grimley, do you really feel that palmistry and phrenology can help us find out about ourselves and others? Oh, yes, I do, particularly where romance is concerned. To all girls, I say, see his palm before you make a date. <laughs> I always say that. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> and another one, read the head before you wed. Because I do feel that every man before getting married should have his head examined. <laughs> and, really, really and, I, do, I do feel that. I'm sorry. I do feel that. When did you first become interested in clairvoyance? Well, when I met my first husband, he was an awfully strange man, you know. He only had one eye. And he had a glass eye. <laughs> and a crystal ball. <laughs> seem to compensate for the other. <laughs> you see, with the crystal ball, he could see into the future. You see? <laughs> you don't and do that. Of course, uh, <laughs> you also read hands. Oh, I read hands and feet, heads, all the extremities I read. <laughs> Tell us about some of your more remarkable predictions. Well, uh, there was one lady came to me, 37 years of age she was, and down her. 37... <laughs> 37 years of age she was, and she wasn't even married. I said, don't worry. I said, one day you will have children. I said, you will have children. And did she? Within a fortnight, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she had twins, a boy and a girl. <laughs> Anything else? No, just a boy and a girl. <laughs> well, there was something else, but it flew away, you know. Uh, <laughs> just yeah. joshing, of course. No, 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 Don't no. do that one time. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I meant... Um... Oh, yes, well, there was one man came to me, awfully robust he was, you know, and he, he was absolutely obsessed with death. I said, Don't worry, I said, you'll live to be 80. He said, I am 80. I said, what did I tell you? You see, <laughs> we're never wrong. Yes, well, tonight, <gasps> tonight... Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. Tonight, we're yes. going to put some of your claims to the test. Oh, oh, and yeah. we've and got someone, not out of the audience, yeah, but straight out that. of the street, so mm -hmm. there's no point in your having met at all. No, no, no. And no, we're no. going to ask you to sit there and yes. tell us about our volunteer simply by reading their hand. Well, could you put your hand through, please? Oh, thank you. No, I mean... <laughs> Made a friend for life then. <laughs> well, it's a very short hand. I mean, it could be a typist. <laughs> According to this little tiny lifeline, you're dead. <laughs> it's not much of a hand at all. I think if I were you, I'd pass on that one. But of course, you never can tell. I mean, that hand may one day find gold. <laughs> By the looks of the nails, they've started digging in the <laughs> could, could I try the head, please? Could I try the... Incline the head just a little and... Oh, I'm, I'm learning so much more now, yes. Could I just ask one question? Yes. How old is this lady? <laughs> it's a gentleman. Oh, is it? Oh, well, we can't be right all the time. I find the barrier. Could I, could I try the blindfold? As you said, if, if I could. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I feel it will, it'll be easier like that, you see. Oh! Oh, that's... Yes, that's much better. Oh, yes, a lot's coming through to me now. Yes, you, you fruity old devil, you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, that's naughty. You're having me on, aren't you? I've had this trick played on me before. This is a melon, isn't it? No. I can tell. I can tell a melon, you know. No, I can tell. No, I assure you. No, no, no. no. Well, oh, I see. Yes, yes, they've got this furry. Yes, it could have been a coconut. But I, I would say that this gentleman is about 42 years of age, stands uh, about six foot tall, and he's led a life of drink and debauchery. Let's see. Oh, success! Another success! Success! Oh, lovely. Success! <laughs> yes. I'm not 42 years old. But you will be one day. I mean, I mean, you were once, weren't you? Yes, that's what I mean. And I'm not six foot tall. No, but you would be if you had your oats more regularly. If you <laughs> ate your porridge up, you'd go up in the storm, you see, wouldn't you? And I haven't led a life of drink and debauchery. You mean you haven't even enjoyed getting to look like that? <laughs> what a pity. I think, I, I think you're a fraud. You couldn't read the bumps in my head. Why not? Because I haven't got any. <laughs> well, you bloody will have now! <laughs>